Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn how to create an invitation. Okay? A very simple invitation using Photoshop. Okay? Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn how to create an invitation. Okay? A very simple invitation using Photoshop. So, how do we do that? So, first, of course, you need to know how to use the tools that we have here. Okay? If you don't know how to use these tools, you can search my YouTube channel and look for uh, the introduction for Photoshop. Okay? So, we are going to create an invitation that looks like this or something that looks like this one. A baptism invitation and this one is a birthday invitation. Okay? So, let's start close this first so what you're going to do is click file new to create a new file wherein we're going to put all the content that are needed for the invitation okay? so under name you type the file name that you want to use in this case I'm going to create a birthday invitation so I'm going to give it a file name with first birthday invitation then for the size of the paper, I'm going to use for the preset photo and then for the size, I'm going to use 5 by 7 okay? But it's up to you what size would you like to use. In this case, because I'm going to create a photo size invitation, that's why I'm using landscape 5 by 7 okay? For the resolution, it's okay, just keep the 300 resolution and don't uh, edit the other setting. Just click OK after doing that. Okay, so here is our canvas. So we're going to put everything here. Okay, so first you need to edit the image or the picture of the birthday celebrant. So let's get the image. Go to my drive. Okay, so I'm going to use this image. So I'm just going to click and click while pressing the control button then drag it going to your photoshop okay if you don't know how to do that just click file and just click open okay and then you look for the file where you save the image that you are going to use for your invitation. So for example, it's here, my drive D. I'm going to put the okay. And then I'm just going to click and then the file and click open. Okay. And then it will appear on your Photoshop application. Okay. So now we're going to get this image. So how do we do that? On the previous tutorial, I taught you how to use the lasso tool or the marquee tool in selecting content or object from an image then putting it in your canvas so this time we're going to use polygonal lasso tool okay and then we're going to trace the subject so click 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 just keep on clicking on the outline of the subject or the object that you're trying to get from a certain file or image okay. so you just get this okay if you don't know how to do this or how to select an object uh, please do watch my previous a uh, tutorial video on the introduction of Photoshop. Just open my YouTube channel, the Red Trend TV channel, and then just look for the tutorial that I created for you so that you will know how to use the tools or the different tools of Photoshop in creating contents like this or subjects like this or invitation like this. So in Photoshop, you can do a lot of things. You can create 
an invitation you can create a banner or tarpaulin you can edit the photos of your that you have so that you can enhance the color okay or if you want to manipulate the pictures that you have okay, you want to add some uh, other stuff in your picture like text okay or if you want to enhance the color of your eyes of your hair you can do that using photoshop okay so let me just select this okay. again So after doing the selection, hover your mouse on the middle of the subject and press right click on your mouse and then click feather. Okay? So that will have the outline of the subject smoothened. So usually I only use one or two but if you want to strengthen the feather, okay, you're free to do so. So let's try using two only. For a cleaner look and just click then drag your object or subject to your canvas okay? to resize the, the subject just simply press ctrl T on your keyboard okay? then zoom out ctrl minus then resize your object or subject Just click check or press enter on your keyboard. And okay, let's put it here. And close the file. Get another image. Maybe you can use this one. Okay. Another way to select is you can use the quick selection on your toolbar. So let's try using quick selection. Then make sure you the plus sign here is selected and just simply select or draw an outline while dragging your mouse don't don't release the left mouse button okay when you're selecting okay, just keep on dragging and gunner and gunner After doing that, click refine edge on top of the toolbar okay, so that we're going to refine the selection and then just simply trace the outline on the subject. Okay. Again, you click refine edges when you're done. click OK then we're going to drag selected subject going to our Photoshop we are going to add the text layer okay so here's the layer palette here's the first object if you click this one you will hide the subject or the object or this one okay. so we have two images now now we're going to add text now how do you add text you click the type tool or the text tool okay and 
then you just simply draw a square rectangular casing for your text on your canvas okay. and then we're going to type God Okay, how do you change the color? Click on the upper part of your Photoshop toolbar, double click, and then let's look for the color that will suit the birthday celebrant. Okay, so let's try using this first, then we'll just change it later. Okay, then change the font. So how do you change the font? Highlight the text and then go to your font style and look for the style of font that you want to use okay. so let's try mm -hmm. okay, let's try using this one words of love and click to check okay. and then uh, let's change the size Just adjust that later then we're going to add another text layer it where you want to place it okay. then we're going to add some designs so how do we do that usually i go to google and then you just simply search for the clip arts that i'm going to use or designs or the drawing so let's say i'm going to search happy birthday clip art So here are some selection that you can use in designing the um, invitation. So for example, you want to use this one. Just click it. And then right click. Then save image. Okay. And put it in your folder. Okay. So let's click this one. Just save it here. Give it a file name birthday. Let's click save. Okay, so that's how you get clip arts using Google. Okay, so in this case, I already downloaded some, so I'm just going to get them here. So let's say I'm going to use all of this, I'm going to select them, then drag it on your Photoshop. Now we're going to drag the object or the designs that we're going to use. Okay. To remove the background, just click the magic one on your toolbar here, magic one, and click on the background. Okay. Then you click, right click, select inverse. Okay. Then you click the move tool. On your toolbar and drag it going to your canvas okay. then you just resize it press ctrl t 
then resize the clip art so check we put everything that we need first before we lay out yeah, we're going to lay out uh, in this this one it's a PNG so the background is no longer there so just simply click and drag it going to our canvas control T then resize okay and then since the birthday boy is wearing a Batman suit we're going to add some Batman clip arts so let's select this one let's use the magic one click on the background then right click click or choose select inverse okay, so that the clip art will be selected away from the background then click the move tool again and then drag it going to your canvas okay. now for the background let's look for one in google uh, let's try batman background okay. and let's try using this one okay. then you right click again and save the file and then put it on your folder give it a file name let's say this one is background and just click save look for it go to go to your folder again simply drag it click drag go into Photoshop place it here on the dark gray line okay and then just move it go into your canvas okay. then we're going to resize it okay then click check Okay. but if the background is pixelated uh, what do you you do or you can do to make sure that the images that are looking for in Google or getting in Google are not pixelated when while you are in images click tools then click size then choose large so that if you're going to choose backgrounds they will not be pixelated okay so let's get another one because that one is pixelated perhaps we can use this one okay and then right click save image then let's give it a file name background 2 click save okay go to the folder Look for your file, then drag it, click and drag it going to your Photoshop. Okay. So we're going to use this one instead of this one. So to delete this, just go to your layer, click the layer that you want to remove, then drag it going to this trash bin icon, and then release. It will be deleted. Okay, so now we're going to put the background. Okay. Put the background again, click it, then drag, go into your canvas, then just release. Okay, then how do you resize it? Control T and then resize your image and click check. Okay. Now how do you manage to show the other content because it's being blocked by the background? So you just simply drag the layer that you want to be underneath the other objects or subjects okay let's put, we'll put the background here okay, for the background layer okay there and now we're going to fix the layout okay so we're going to size the picture of this boy and control t so that it won't overlap And 
just the text okay now we're going to add a stroke for every text so that it will be easily visible on your invitation so how do you do that right click the layer click blending option then choose stroke then change the color okay, so we're going to use white try using size 10 only okay, so there and then for this one just add the same stroke right click blending option click stroke and choose color white edit transform and then horizontal okay, so that they will be facing each other okay, check this one let's add some stroke with this image right click blending option add stroke or this time let's try adding an outer glow Just the spread okay. and click OK. okay. So let's try changing this one. change the font so click let's try using this one okay it's just for a more readable font okay so let's try this one let's change the size there is your invitation and when you're done make sure to click save so click file save and then make sure that you have your file name here and click save okay and just click ok so now you have your file saved now to print it using your printer you just simply click file and choose print here or if you want to convert it into a jpeg image so that you can send it through messenger or online to your friends or have it printed on a printing shop you need to save your file into a jpeg format so how do you do that you click file save as okay and under format here you see and by default you get to save your file with psd because so that you can edit your file again if you need to do some adjustment okay but if you're already final with your decision for your output okay you click file save as then click format and then change it to jpeg okay so click jpeg and then you can change the file if you want but if you want to use the same file name since it is a different format just simply click save again okay and click ok and i'm going to show you okay so here's our file okay so you can already have this printed if you have your own printer or just send it to a printing shop 
Okay, so here's the file. Okay, you can already have it printed. Or if you have your own printer again, use your printer. If you don't have your own printer, bring it to a printing shop. Okay? So, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today. Bye!